hi everyone uh, today i'll show you how to find uh, the maximum list when a ship screen picks up the cargo now to do so i will take a question uh, which has been asked in a past exam this is not from a book but from a past exam and uh, through this question i will show you how to find the maximum list and also uh, how to solve if you uh, experience or face similar questions in the exam so let's get started in today's question there is a ship that is displacing 18,000 tons kg 7 meter km 7.9 meter and it is required to load 70 tons the ship's crane head is 40 meters above the keel and 16 meters to starboard of center line you have to find the maximum list and the final list when the weight is loaded 5 meters to starboard of center line at a height 12 meters above the keel so you have to find two things maximum list this will be when the crane picks up the cargo and the final list this will be when the cargo is placed on the ship so let's summarize what is given to us we have the displacement denoted by the letter capital W as 18,000 tons we have km which is 7.9 kg which is 7 meter so the initial gm will be km minus kg which is equal to 0 0.90 meter that will be the initial gm so now we know this all right so km minus kg will give you the gm then you are also given the weight that has to be loaded so you can see i have denoted the displacement by a capital w and the weight to be loaded by a small w how which i have written a bit differently from the capital w just to show you the difference between the two w's because sometimes you can get confused when you look at the two w's also with any ship stability question i have told you guys before i like to draw diagrams the diagrams doesn't have to be a very good diagram it doesn't have to be to scale but it helps me to visualize what is going on in the question and helps me to form uh, the equation for the questions as well all right so i'll explain this diagram as we start solving the question so i will take the first part of the question which is finding the maximum list now i told you this will happen when the crane is or when the cargo is lifted by the crane so when the cargo is lifted by the crane so when the cargo is lifted by the crane you know that the height of the cargo or rather the height of the crane is given as 40 meters that is the head of the crane that is given to you so in the question if you see it says the crane's head is 40 meters above keel all right so when the crane picks up the cargo the cargo is now hanging from the screen here and this is 40 meters above keel now keel is shown by the letter k the center of gravity is shown by the letter g and the meter center is denoted by the letter n now the kg given to us is 7 meters so you can see i have marked kg 7 meters km is of course 7.9 so we have 7.9 so when the cargo is uh, picked up by the crane the center or the difference between the center of gravity of the vessel and the center of gravity of the cargo is what so that will be 40 meters minus 7 meters so what is 7 meters 7 meters is the kg of the cargo and what is 40 meters this is the height of the center of gravity of cargo so 40 minus 7 is 33 meters right so what distance am i talking about say if i use a different color pen maybe i'll use a green pen i'm talking about this distance here the difference of this distance so 40 minus 7 meters this is 33 meters all right now this is the uh, vertical difference in the center of gravity now if i think about uh, okay i'll come to this later i don't want to explain too many things right now otherwise you will get confused so why is this uh, important the vertical distance uh, the, the difference of the center of gravity is uh, because as soon as the crane picks up the cargo there will be a shift in the center of gravity of the vessel 
Now because the cargo is right at the top of the crane, the center of gravity will of the vessel will shift towards the direction of the cargo. Alright, now the cargo has picked up the crane, or rather <laughs> the crane has picked up the cargo. So now the weight of the cargo which is 70 tons is also now acting on the ship or the ship's weight. So the total displacement of the vessel will no longer be 18,000 as given to you but you add the 70 tons of weight that you have lifted up because now that weight is acting on the ship's structure and the total displacement becomes 18,070. So to find the distance by which the center of gravity shifts upward we use the formula GG1 equals W by D by displacement. So what is W? I have told you W is the weight of cargo lifted D is the vertical dis distance or the vertical difference in the center of gravity between the vessel and the cargo and finally W is the displacement which I have explained to you before. I will just erase some of these things uh, so that it doesn't become too cluttered but I hope you have understood what we are trying to show here. So simply put in the values of W, D and displacement and you will get GG1 is 1.0.128 that means the center of gravity of the vessel has now shifted upwards by 0.128 alright so that means the GM will now reduce by the same amount because the center of gravity has shifted upwards so the original GM given or rather cal we calculated through KM minus KG was 0 0.9 meters right because the crane sh lifts the cargo and the GG1 shifts upward, the new GM will be original GM minus GG1. So the new GM will be 0.772 meters. Now we have to find the maximum list. So maximum list will be when the cargo is lifted by the crane. That is found by the transverse movement of the cargo DW divided by displacement multiplied by gm so what is the transverse movement of the cargo well the question says that the crane's head is not only 40 meters above keel that is for vertical shift of g but also it is 16 meters to starboard of center line so that would be the transverse distance so the transverse distance is 16 meters when the crane lifts the cargo right so therefore the transverse movement of the cargo is given by 16 meters by 70 tons which is the weight of lifted divided by the new displacement 18,070 multiplied by the GM that you have just calculated. So therefore accordingly theta will be equal to 4.6 degrees and this will be to starboard because the weight of the cargo as you can see is on the starboard side. So the list will be to starboard. Alright. I don't think I have to solve this equation but if you want me to solve this equation then just for you to match the values in case you don't get it so I'll just write down 16 by 7 divided by 18 0, 7, 0, divided by 0 0.772 so this should be ideally 0 0.0803 and then a tan inverse of that will give you the answer 4.59 or 4.6 degrees and it will be to starboard now I go on to calculate the final list and the final list will be when the cargo is placed on deck. So when the cargo is placed on deck. Now again through the diagrams I will show you how to calculate the shift in the center of gravity and how to calculate the transverse distance. So let me erase some of the things that I won't be needing in the second part so that you guys don't uh, get confused. I think this is good enough. Uh, this is as well this is done so I'll just reduce the clutter here I don't need this as well you know what is keel all right so let's get started uh, or rather let's continue from where we left off so we have the initial displacement 18,000 tons cargo has now been placed on the deck so the final displacement will be 18,070 of course all right now cargo has been placed on deck that means the cargo doesn't exist on uh, the crane's head it has now been placed on the deck now where has it been placed it says the cargo has been placed 5 meter to starboard of the center line and a height 12 meter above the keel so two things have been given 
so this is where the cargo has shifted the cargo has shifted here from here to here this is the cargo so this is 5 meters of the center line and this is 12 meters above the keel all right so what is the vertical distance of the center of gravity that it has shifted so basically the cargo has shifted from uh, like i showed you here to here so this when the cargo was here this was 40 meters above keel now the cargo is here which is 12 meters above keel so this distance here will be 40 minus 12 am i right will be equal to 28 meters that is for the vertical distance the horizontal distance of course when we are calculating list will be 5 meters that's pretty straightforward all right so you see how i calculated the distance d so the cargo when it was on the crane z it was 40 meters above keel and now that it has been placed on deck it is 12 meters above keel so the cargo moved vertically by a distance of 28 meters all right have a look at this diagram carefully and understand what i did here so that there's no confusion so now i go back here i will calculate the gg1 now gg1 will now shift downwards why because the cargo from upper deck as you can see not upper deck but cargo from the crane it is now been placed on the upper deck so the cargo movement was downwards so therefore g will move downwards as well all right so gm so gg1 will be w by d by w i've already explained w is 70 tons of cargo 28 is the meters i showed you how i calculated it and then of course final displacement was 18,070 you get gg1 as 0 0.108 but gg1 has or g has rather moved downwards it has shifted downwards so the gm when the cargo was on the crane and this is from part one of this question was 7.772 right this is the g the gm that we calculated 0.772 and now because g has shifted downwards the gm will increase so you will add the gg1 to find the new gm so as the g if i go back to the cargo you know the g has shifted downwards so if g shifts downwards gm will increase the distance will increase right when it went upwards the gm reduced when it went downwards it increased all right so the new gm is now 0 0.880 so if i have to find the list or this is the final list when the cargo was placed on the upper deck this is the transfer shift of cargo which would be 5 meters which i have explained earlier by 70 tons of cargo divided by total displacement multiplied by the new gm in this case here tan theta will be equal to 0 0.02201 and therefore theta will be equal to 1.260 now this the list will still be to starboard because the cargo was placed on the starboard side of the deck as we can see in the picture here and that is why i told you it's very important for you guys to learn how to draw pictures when you're trying to solve ship stability questions so i hope this video was useful to you i will be putting up more videos of ship stability and calculations and uh, similar problems and problems which are slightly worded differently uh, let me know what you thought about these videos or what you think about these videos whether they are helpful for your learning i look forward to your feedback uh, and